Hi, my name is Angela Schmuck with ID Mission, and this is Taylor Matney. We're both part of the product development team. When you hear the name ID Mission, you probably think that we're, we're solely focused on identity-based solutions, and we do that, but we also do a whole lot more. So what we've created is what we call an enterprise system of engagement, and this allows you um, a whole toolkit to put together unique boarding experiences for your customers. Whether it be um, assisted or self-service model, we can configure rules that allow you to ask specific questions based on the region you're in, um, the regulations that are applied in your industry, and so on and so forth. So what we're gonna take a quick look at today is a, a simple KYC authentication process. We built this for a bank in South Africa. They wanted to make it quick for their users to be authenticated. So, so this is actually self-service, but Taylor's gonna help me walk through it. So the very first thing we're doing is just collecting the name of the individual and the phone number. The next thing we're doing is grabbing an identity document. So in this case, we're gonna actually use an upload. So I have a scanned version of my passport that's available. We can use a device camera to take a photo of that as well. We can collect the back of an identity document so we can scan the, um, the 3D barcode or 2D barcode that's on the back of a driver's license. In this case, it's not required since we're using a passport. The next thing we're gonna do is grab my proof of address. So I have a, a utility bill here. And we can extract information off of this using our machine vision and OCR technology. The next thing we're doing is capturing an image of the, the customer's face. So we can do live face detection where we can, we can um, detect movements in the facial expression to, to ensure they're not taking a photo of a photo. Um, today we'll just have her do a selfie of me. Okay. The next thing we're doing is um, we have the terms and conditions, which all customers, of course, love to read, so we tried to make them brief. But what we're doing is we're having the, the individual confirm that they've really read them and understood them. So we're taking a voice recording of that confirmation, and then in the future, um, maybe during transaction processing, you can, you can do a, a voice biometric match to make sure that that person really is who they're saying they are. I confirm all of the information provided is true and accurate, and I understand the terms and conditions. And then the last thing we're doing is capturing an electronic signature here. Okay. So Taylor's gonna go ahead and submit that to our server. All of our information is stored in the cloud. Um, and what's happening behind the scenes is all of the information is being extracted off of my identity document. Um, and I'm also taking the, the face image on my ID and comparing it to the image that was just captured. So we do that facial biometric match. Once all of that information is loaded, um, it can, we, we have a lot of rules that we can configure to do auto approvals um, based on, on the information that was collected. So we're gonna take a look at one we submitted earlier today that was actually automatically approved. So this is something that might be used by a back office um, team member. So what we have is a side-by-side -side view. So if Taylor clicks on the drop down there, these are all the documents and images that we captured along the way. So she's gonna bring up my passport. And here you can see she can zoom in, she can rotate, um, so she can see all of this information. And then we'll look at the form itself. So this is all the information that was captured. You see my name and phone number, and then all the images. So there's my um, proof of address document. We have my facial photo, my signature, and then we also have the voice recording file there as well. So here you see that the face to ID match result was verified, so that means that my face matched my ID. And then you see the information that was actually extracted from the passport, so my date of birth, ID number, expiry date. And then we've done a score, which caused the auto approval. So I have a total score of 60. We have anything more than 50 is, is auto approved, and again, those are all completely configurable. So you can see that the MRZ on my passport was valid, the face matched, and, and the live face was actually detected. So this is a very simple case of um, self-service KYC. Another thing that, that we support and that we've been seeing a lot more in the market is onboarding of, of entities. So when we call that KYE, which is know your, know your entity, as opposed to KYC, which is know your customer. So this is really business onboarding, and what we can do is collect all the information that's required by regulations, collect the shareholder and directors and owners of that organization, and depending on their ownership, 
um, percentage in the company, we can then drive down into these individual um, owner KYC details. So if you're interested in learning more about ID Mission and all the services that we provide, you can stop by our booth at 1230E. Thank you very much.